subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest updates. Cyclone Batsarai is moving north of La Reunion this morning as we look at a powerful, now slow moving Category 4 cyclone on the Saffir Simpson scale, currently positioned at 19 south, 55.5 east. The current bulletin from Matteo France puts it at winds of 130 miles per hour, that's 185 kilometers per hour in 10 minute winds, with a pressure of 937 millibars, and it is crawling west at 3 miles per hour or 6 kilometers per hour and we do have a significant CDPS rating stage 7 now in place for Mahan Anoro Madagascar We're looking for landfall on Saturday all parameters looking major to extreme for this landfall stage 7 unfortunately does mean that a catastrophic landfall is possible again we're looking for timing on Saturday on the coastline of Madagascar here's the current position in re relation to the islands and Madagascar, it has a very significantly sized wind field, uh, likely seeing some tropical storm force winds in Mauritius and La Reunion at this time, and it will soon start within the next 24 to 36 hours in Madagascar. The current position, uh, in, or distances I should say, 145 miles or 233 kilometers from La Reunion, 160 miles or 257 kilometers from Mauritius, moving away from there now, 444 miles or 715 kilometers from Mahana Anoro in Madagascar, 523 miles or 841 kilometers from Antena Anaarivo in Madagascar, that is the capital, and 546 miles or 879 kilometers from M. Balsitra, that is further inland. And we do have red and green cyclone alerts in place, red for La Reunion, green for Madagascar. The intensity estimates are fairly high confidence in a Category 4 ADT and AMSU are going a bit higher, maybe around 140 or 145, but the general consensus right now from most agencies and uh, SATCON, generally around 130 miles per hour. The forecast from Mateo France currently does have it uh, going into Madagascar as an intense tropical cyclone. I know the JTWC raised their cone earlier as well. We're looking at a very significant tropical cyclone landfall looking likely here for Madagascar. And even after that, we could see it intensify to a severe tropical storm in the Mo Mozambique Channel. A landfall not out, uh, not rolled out completely there as you are within the cone of uncertainty, although at this time it's looking a bit more unlikely for a landfall there. Here is the current sea surface temperatures. You can see all the way up to landfall in Madagascar and beyond there. Very warm, favorable enough to sustain a major cyclone all the way up to landfall. The H Wharf model is one that's showing a major up to landfall. You can see right there. And then potentially the, the H Wharf looks to be putting it maybe towards cyclone strength again in the Mozambique Channel. And rainfall likely to be significant, especially in Madagascar. We could see some areas get over a foot of rain here, maybe getting towards two feet. The models are in general agreement of a general decline in intensity up to landfall, then rapid weakening. Uh, then intensification in the Mozambique Channel again. Wind shear will generally be below or around 10 knots all the way through the 8th. Sea surface temperatures looking good throughout the entire forecast. Relative humidity, it is on an uptrend now, and the models have generally good consensus on that landfall around, along the central uh, Madagascar coastline and maybe some stalling in the Mozambique Channel. The current satellite imagery looks like this. It's looked pretty good over the past 12 to 24 hours. Uh, had that eye pretty clear over the past many, many hours. Thankfully staying north of Mauritius and La Reunion, but impacts are still being felt there. Very significant system, unfortunately, looking to unfold for Madagascar. Stay tuned to Force 13. We will keep you updated with the latest information from Mateo France on this cyclone as it nears uh, Madagascar. And... Of course, as always, stay safe if you're in the threat zone for Batsarai.